Hey guys, welcome back to my Tyranno Builder series of tutorials. We are going to go over characters today, and that includes importing characters. Now, if you're like me and you're a programmer, you can't draw to save your life, or at least you don't have the patience for drawings. That's okay, because over here on the left hand side, you can go into the project area, the asset library. And it actually comes with a bunch of assets that you can use to make a game, including characters. I've already imported two of these guys, so I'm just going to import like one more. Let's go ahead and get, uh, I think I didn't get V-Chan. So just double click it, and you're going to get a series of images for this character, including facial expressions. But we'll go over that. I just have to wait a couple seconds for my tablet to realize that it's downloading. There we go. You see big check mark when it's done. Next thing, you can go over here and go into your character manager this way, but there's a button over here with a little person and a little cog on top of it. That is your character manager. As you can see, here are the three characters that I've imported from the asset library, and they came with these images. If you wanted to add your own, you'd simply have to open up a file window and drag and drop the images into it. You'd create a new character, make a character called fake, it would be empty and you can just drag and drop your image files in here. It's always a good idea to have expressions for your characters because there's nothing more awkward than a really sad depressing scene and this expression which I, if you can't see it she's pretty much laughing. <laughs> So always be sure to have expressions, slightly different poses. You don't want to just have a rinse and repeat stock character. It kind of ruins the feel of the game when your character pretty much never moves. It reminds people that they're not real and that they are, in fact, just a cartoon slapped on top of their computer. People want to pretend they're real. All right, so we now have these characters and we have these facial expressions. So let's go ahead and have one join the scene. I've just dragged the join scene node from the character components. We're going to go ahead and select one. Let's uh let's select Vchan. We're going to check. We're not going to select fake because no one's in there. All right, so we now have Vchan in here. We can go ahead and do a positioning tool. Now this character does not have legs, but that's okay. It's an easy fix. We can just sort of line her up at the bottom of the screen. She's kind of tiny, but that's all right because we can resize her. Tyranna Builder is cool like that. All right. Fijan has now entered the scene. Over here, we see where we wound up placing her, our X position, our Y position. The width and the height have changed because I've resized her. You can flip the image to make her face a different direction, and this is the duration of how long it will make, how long it will take for Vchan to join the scene. This means that she must finish entering the scene before the next part, before the next node takes effect. So let's go ahead and play this scene now. We were in a classroom. Oop. Oh, there's V Chan, but she seems to be a little low now. That's okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Sometimes Tyranno Builder readjusts their position. I believe that should do it. Let's double check. That looks right. Let's go ahead and play it. Yep, there she is, right in position. The positioning tool is not always the most reliable because it does have to readjust itself depending on certain things, so always double check your work. Alright, so what? Let's, let's say we want her to have a different expression. Well, let's go ahead, she's joined the scene with her first expression. Let's change uh, V-Chan's expression, let's choose, <coughs> oh, this is Yuko. I'm going to make sure we have the right character selected because it will freeze your game. Oh, that's my tablet telling me that it's dying. And, yep, there we go. I didn't realize the charger had unplugged itself. It likes to do that. All right, let's select a face. Darn it. My charger does not like the position I'm in. All right, so now we have V-Chan and her expression has in fact been changed. So if I play this now, <coughs> Vchan enters the screen and changes her expression. What if I don't want her to have the first expression at all? Well, we go ahead and move our change expression, and this time when she shows up, she will automatically be in this expression. You can do this for any character as many times as you like. I would suggest only doing it once because it's a waste of space, but that change expression will 
override whatever expression she has before she enters the scene. So now she's entering the scene with the expression I've asked her to enter with. Great. After this, we can have uh, V-Chan... <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's really dry. We can have her exit the scene. So now she'll come in. Apparently her name is Monica. And now she will leave. Oh! Still has my name there. We're going to make sure we... Uh, make this clean so let's go ahead and put a pound sign there so it doesn't keep my name because that doesn't make any sense <coughs> now she speaks and now the message window is empty that's just clean always keep your projects clean and looking nice don't skip or cut corners it's, it's not going to make a good game all right that actually pretty much covers everything for characters again just to remind you you can flip the image so let's go ahead and do that there she is completely flipped she looks like a totally different person <coughs> oh my goodness pardon me all right so let's go ahead I was going to go into one more thing but I have actually oh one more thing I wanted to talk about in the game settings if you noticed at one point when I played the game I close that if I actually minimize this window, you see this black bar on the side, and that's because the game is actually not big enough in its in its resolution. I forgot the word resolution. In its resolution, it's not big enough. So if we go into the game settings, which can also be reached by clicking the cog over here, if we go to display, here it says screen mode. Adjust to device, but preserve aspect ratio. We don't actually want to preserve the aspect ratio. Let's do adjust to device entire screen now be wary watch your images make sure they're not stretching let's go ahead and see how this stretches it seems to stretch all right v-chan's face is looking a little wide so you might want to do a little bit of editing and make sure characters do not stretch too badly when you do that because everything is going to stretch a bit i think her face is actually just that wide so it worked out fine now they can resize their window uh, again v-chan's looking a little squash now now she's looking a little stretched so be wary that is a way to make it so that the window is not forced to be in that position but it does have consequences everything pretty much has consequences all right this is the tutorial on characters and i hope it was very helpful thank you very much and have a wonderful day